Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I customize this pre-made wig. Yes, so I'm going to show you guys how I took the wig from this to this hairline where she's given scalp. So if you want to learn how to do this and you want to learn how to install your wig, then please keep on watching. The wig that I'm going to be showing you guys today, it's a pre-made wig and it's from Eunice Hair. Eunice or is it Eunice? I'm not really sure. But I will list the hair info in the description bar down below. It's about 24 inches. Again, everything will be in the description bar down below. So check that out. Now I'm gonna use in my L'Oreal Quick Blue and I'm gonna use some Salon Care Cream Developer. I'm gonna mix this together to get a thick consistency, almost like toothpaste. So we're gonna bleach the knots because the knots need bleaching. The knots on this wig, I will say they're very, very small in the front by the hairline, but behind the hairline, they're a bit big. The knots are a little bit big on this wig. Now I'm gonna bleach the knots and I'm gonna bleach this for about 20 minutes. I applied all over the lace, left it on for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna wash it off off camera. Next, we're gonna move on to my favorite thing to do, which is tweezing. I'm just kidding, it's not my favorite thing to do. I do not like tweezing. Do you guys say plucking or tweezing? Anyways, it doesn't matter. We're gonna use a tweezer. And I part the hair, I went behind the hairline. This is what I always tell you guys to do. Go behind the hairline first. Do not keep tweezing over the same spot over and over because that's how you're gonna create ball spots and nobody wants ball spots in their wig. You want your wigs to look like it has edges and not ball spots, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze out that hairline so it looks a bit more natural and realistic for when I put the wig on because it was looking a little full before and this is how it looks when it's not tweezed. You see that? And do you see the other side that I just finished doing? Looks a lot better. So again, just keep going with it until you feel comfortable with it. I have a wig cap on my mannequin head just to get an idea of how the wig will look on my head. And I'm loving the way it's looking. So I'm gonna go in with the hot comb just to comb it, just to see if I need to do any more tweezing with it. I'm satisfied with that for now. No, I'm not. I'm going to go back in and tweeze some more. And you guys, I also tweeze the wig when it's on my head just to make sure. You know, because I'm not exactly sure of how it's going to look until it's on my head. Right now, it looks good. I'm happy with it. I can work with this. So I'm going to go in with my flat iron and just straighten it. You guys know how to straighten hair. So I'm not going to go into much detail on straightening hair. But this is how she's looking. She looks great. Let's move on. Before I glue down my wigs, I like to try it on first. I want to see how that hairline that I just tweezed is looking. Sometimes it looks really good on the mannequin head. And I'm like, oh yes, I did a good job on tweezing. And then when I try it on, I'm like, mm, you did a whole bunch of nothing. There's no difference here. But... I'm gonna tweeze it a bit more, you guys, once it's glued down. The side needs a bit more tweezing. First, I'm gonna cut this hair. Yes, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it because I just wanted shorter hair. I've been feeling shorter hair a lot lately. I don't care for the inches all the way down to the waist. Anywho, I have my wig cap on. This is actually a stocking cap. I did the stocking cap method. And I've done this before on my channel a couple times, but I don't really have a detailed video on the stocking cap method. But if you guys want to see a video on that, then comment down below and let me know. I'm just using some makeup wipes to get rid of any excess uh, glue on the forehead. Well, it's not glue. I use the Liquid Gold by Bold Hole for the cap. And I'm going to go in with the foundation. This is foundation is going to help you to get that, you know, scalp looks. All right. So now I'm going to put this wig on my head now. And yeah, let me fix that. She's not looking good right now, so let's fix that. All right, so the hairline is looking good with the foundation. She's looking great. And you guys, I actually curled this wig up to add some volume in it. I did not show that step on camera because these curls were an epic fail. Like, it fell so fast and it wasn't what I wanted, but yeah, I didn't show that step on camera. Anyways, we're going to move on and the hairline on this wig, it goes down a bit low compared to my hairline. So before I do anything to the hairline, I'm going to go ahead and cut off that extra lace by the sides because I don't need that. I don't want to cover up my ears. So we're going to cut that lace off. 
this next step is optional. You don't have to do this, but I like to create small sections in my lace. I find it easier to apply like this. Some people just cut the whole thing off, but I like to do it like this. So I'm gonna go in with my bold hole lace glue and I'm gonna apply it to my forehead. I put my wig down a little bit low because I don't really like the wig too close to my hairline. I don't want it pulling on my edges, so I like to pull it down low. Anyways, I'm gonna go back in with some more glue. I add a couple layers of glue, go in with a blow dryer on the cool setting, and then once the glue is dry, you wanna wait for it to be clear, I'm gonna pull that lace down and melt it down into the glue. I forgot to mention to you guys that this is HD lace and I have videos on transparent lace as well and honestly I think I do a pretty good job on melting down transparent lace as well as HD lace but HD lace does melt really really good and it looks more natural and realistic it's easier to melt so I'm just cutting off all that excess lace and I did as you can see I cut some of where the hair is because I want it to look like a very realistic hairline it was going down a little bit too low so my hairline is not that low so I was trying to make it look as realistic as possible you can cut off extra lace that is what the lace is there for for you to cut the lace I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing to the side as well cut off all that extra lace that I don't need and then I'm gonna go in with my glue and apply it to the area that I want to glue down if you guys are new to glue and you're scared of glue, you should probably try the Bold Hole Liquid Gold. So it's not glue and it's very easy to remove. You can just remove it with water. And as for the glue, I do not use alcohol to remove my wigs. Don't, don't do that. That's just a no. I use a lace glue remover and I'm going to film a video removing my wig because I don't have a video like that as yet on my channel and I think you guys need help with removing your wigs. So I just went in with the glue, I wait for the glue to dry clear and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did for the forehead and melt down that lace. Remember how I said I tweezed the wig once it's on my head? Well the wig is all glued down now and the hairline it looks good but I think it could look a little bit better so I'm going to go ahead and tweeze some more. You could leave it as is because it looks pretty good but I want a little bit more of that scalp look, you know? I want it to look natural. And as you can see, the girl got makeup on now, looking like a whole different person. <laughs> you guys, I filmed a makeup tutorial of this look. It's already on my channel. So if you want to see that makeup tutorial, click on the link down below. So I'm going to go in with my hot comb right now, and I'm going to go ahead and make that hairline look nice and flat. Are you seeing that scalp? She is giving scalp. And if you don't want to do baby hairs, you could just skip that or you can add some little natural baby hair or you can do those big sexy fluffy baby hair that I see everybody doing. I don't have a video of those baby hair on my channel you guys and I want to challenge myself and actually do it because I don't think I'm very good at baby hairs but I want to try it. I want to do a video like that so if you guys want to see it let me know. Comment down below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some baby hair to the other side as well. Guys, I'm using a hair wax. I always use hair wax. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Sally's. The one I'm using, I got from a hair company. I'm not sure of the company name, so yeah. I struggle with doing one side of my head, like literally struggle. Yeah, as for the baby hair, that is all I'm doing. This is it. So I'm just gonna do a sun apart and I'm gonna go ahead, the sun apart is looking kinda lean, but we're gonna fix it in the end. Um, I'm gonna go in with the hair wax once again and I'm just gonna flatten the top of the wig. Nobody wants their wig to look like a hat or a helmet, okay? So that is why we are gonna flatten it down. We're not going for that helmet look. I'm gonna go in with some hair mousse and I got this one from Sally's. I'm not sure of the brand, but I will put it in the description bar. As you can see, I don't have a center part right now. I switch it to side, but then I'm gonna switch it back. I know I was like all over the place with this one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and melt down that wig. I went in with the mousse, but now I'm gonna go ahead and tie the hair down. You can use like um, a hair scarf. I'm using pantyhose. That's what I always use to tie down my wig. And I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes, pull it off, and voila, that's it. Look at that hairline. Tell me she is not giving scalp. Like, she is giving scalp, honey, scalp. And my makeup is different. My clothes is different. So guys, this is actually two days later. So this is what the wig looks like two days later. I actually cut some layers into this wig and I lost the intro for this video. I lost the outro for this video. 
and I had to come back here and show you guys the final look of the hair. This is how she's looking a couple days later. I tied it down, went to sleep, and she's still glued down onto my head. I'll probably take it off tomorrow and yeah so yeah this is the completed video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was helpful to you guys and i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you for watching bye bye